This is Surf Radio from the Standard Hotel, Hawaii, with Lee Higgins. I have a very special guest, Esther Regberg. How are you? Good morning, Lee. I'm really good. Fantastic. You must be the happiest person I know in (laughs) Hawaii. Esther, are you always this happy? No, you know, everybody has their days, but um, I always say ask my husband and my children, (laughs) but most of the time I'm doing quite well, yes, and I'm happy. And who wouldn't be happy when you're in the standard I know. with beautiful beach view I know. and a Don't restaurant where the food is always good? Totally. Fantastic. Don't you love my workplace, right? Yeah, it's amazing, Lee. <laughs> now, we spoke a few months ago, didn't we? What We spoke about a seminar that you were organizing and holding. What was that about? We did. In that, uh, at that moment when we spoke, I just moved to my new office. Mm-hmm. You remember, I'm also a life coach. And uh, in that moment, we were organizing a seminar to help students, uh, learners, parents to make choices for their subjects when they would go into their exams, when they had to make choices, uh, which subject, subjects they were going to choose for their further academic path. Yeah, it was a good start, that seminar. It went really, really well. And with today talking about a new learning center that's starting here in Hua Hin. But is this a passion for you around education and families? Oh, you give me goosebumps. My passion, really. Mm. The passion that I have is really for my children. Mm. So we have our five oldest ones who've all gone into education. Uh, The oldest daughter is actually finishing her last master, a second one, has a bachelor's in English, Lang and Lit. The oldest son is in agriculture. The middle son studied in Hong Kong with a scholarship and um, he did the hotel business management and has now restaurants and shops in Vienna. The uh, second daughter is uh, in uh, content management and the last son is still studying uh, law and international business. And so when you are so involved with your kids and you've got two little girls where Mm. you're still the guardian over and the BCC, a school that we loved a lot, stops at year eight, and our oldest one here is going to go into year nine. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yes, Lee. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know how you do it all. Plus, you know, you're a life coach, as you said earlier. Yes. So it is all going on in your world. Indeed. So, Esther, tell us all about this learning center. Mm. So, we spoke about the seminar, mm. and um, you know that I moved to a new building. So, I rented a room there. And And because I was traveling back and forth to the Banyan where I lived, my husband said, Esther, you know, when there's an apartment coming free in the compound, let's move. Because then you're close to your work again, easy with the girls. And so I more or less claimed the building. And a week later, the apartment next door to the coaching office went empty. So within a few weeks, we renovated the whole apartment. (laughs) Why does that not surprise (laughs) me of you, Esther? But anyway, keep going. So that was in January we opened the coaching and end of February we moved into our own apartment next doors and then during this seminar that we were talking about um, Johan helped me to set up my husband and then at one moment he comes in and he says Esther the owners of the whole apartment building are here I said we're gonna buy it (laughs) and so we are in the last stages of buying. We sold our own house just in Europe when yes. we were there on holiday. And so we bought the whole building, um, moved there, have the coaching there. And then Johan says, Esther, we need a place for our girls. And um, in earlier days, when you would be an expat with a company, very often in the packages, there was the international schooling. Yes. But most of the time now, the packages really are less than they were in the beginning. So we don't have international schooling in our package. So Hohen International might be a lovely school, but it's quite expensive. BCC doesn't do a year nine, so where to go with Isabella? Mm. And so then we said, if we cannot find a place that would suit her needs, then we start ourselves. (laughs) 
<laughs> You're incredible. <laughs> so tell us about this learning centre. Yeah, so we are uh, under the licence of We Learn in Bangkok. There is um, already quite a big learning centre. They're also just moving now to a different location. And it's um, a centre where you can come in to study online, but still have the um, help and mentoring of tutors, coaches that are there in the centre to help and support your child. Okay. So what we will do is that when you come to our learning centre, you can really choose an individual learning path for your child. So sometimes, let's say when you have a highly intelligent uh, learner, or maybe a learner who's really good in math but struggles with languages, mm. your child can move on with maths but take some more time for a subject that they find difficult, like languages or maybe science. For me, it definitely would have been math. <laughs> <laughs> I never did well on those, yes. but you know, for my my languages, I hope, I would be able to push myself and maybe even go faster. I was speaking with an, a very interesting parent, two lovely children, and his son did a, a, a subject on engineering. And there was actually a few months standing for the subject, but the child was so passionate about it that he finished in six weeks. Unbelievable. It really is. This morning we've been chatting with Esther from the We Learn Learning Centre that is just about to open here in Hua Hin. Yes. You look pretty damn excited <laughs> about that. I am very excited because the more I dig into what is this We Learn, what is this academy, I am getting more and more excited because I can see that for my girls this is going to open and for all the others, other learners that are going to join us, this is going to open such a different pathway than when we go to a regular school. So so, so, yeah. we're so, like, mm -hmm. so who is this aimed at? Because it sounds to me like not only if you're of uh, Thai nationality, mm -hmm. but yeah. if you're from overseas and yes. you've lived in many countries or of different nationality, this learning centre must be right in the mainstream for them. It's absolutely fantastic. So let's say when we need to go back to the Netherlands, mm. yeah, unexpectedly, or we're thinking, you know, we get a little, when we get, came back to the Netherlands, we heard that we're just getting going to be uh, granddad and grandma mm. again. But this little baby is supposed to come in s December. So what if we think then we want to take the girls, we want to stay for three, four weeks in Europe just to enjoy the family. We can take the girls because they're, studying can move on it's online and they can always learn wherever they are mm. so what we see um, as well here in Hua Hin and in Thailand itself we have a lot of people who call themselves digital nomads yes. but these people have children so like yesterday I had a lovely talk with a lady who is living like that with her little son and she's like Esther your learning center would be absolutely amazing I'm trying to more or less unschool my child but at the moment he is at a certain age that he needs to maybe start to learn something you know with a program and we can offer that you don't have to be in the learning center every day you can say I would like to be there for three days and the other two days I want to be with my child I want to go to the beach yeah go mm. to the standard yes. and enjoy a beautiful day or what if you think like oh my family is coming over which we always as experts is so special your child doesn't have to come to school during those days why why not enjoy grandpa grandma when they're visiting so people may think that you know the traditional way of schooling is the right way what would you say around that you know I always think about the fact when I started to develop my own passion for singing you know when I started to sing and saw that that was a talent that I had I didn't want to do anything else than sing yes. so what we can see here that you know when children have a, a, a special talent is it in sports is it in the arts is it in the engineering we can help this child to go to their training to go to their extra singing lessons to go to their extra gymnastic lessons and still study online because you don't lose as much time as when you are in a traditional school mm. look at uh, it I think it's Simona Biles isn't it yes. she does online schooling yes. so that she can still she did so that she can still train and have 
have this rigorous schedule of training but still be able to have an academic study and even have a university degree. And really times are changing. The, the world and how we see it, the yeah. how we get exposed to it is very different to when you and I probably went to school. It's so differently mm. and when I see it like we did four weeks of summer camp, how the children were bonding together because that's one of the things when you would do homeschooling, mm. your child can be socially a bit on their own. That's why we have the learning center. These kids come, follow their own individual pathway in their studies, but have each other as friends. Are you going to stay with me for a little while longer? Because Lee. I've got a couple more questions for you, Definitely. Esther. Definitely. Okay. <laughs> so the concept in a nutshell, Esther, what is it? So what we are offering is that we have core academic online and then next to that project-based learning. Mm. And what we really wanted for the kids, for our students, for our learners is that there is someone that when you have a difficulty or when you just need this little support, that there is someone there who can say, go for it, mm. you can do this, and who has understanding of education and the subjects that we have. For parents, sometimes it can be really difficult when you have a home learner to always be the one to have to say, did you finish this? Did you do that? Where, when we do it in our environment, it will help the learners when they see others learning and also when there is a safe environment when you want to ask a question you can do it there is someone an educated certified um, teacher coach that can help you move on so how do we um, work for us most important is that we want to have a passionate learner self-directed with the skills that they require in the world here so what we see is that children who do this, who go to a learning center, actually have less problems when they start an academic career. Right. Because what we need and what we want to do is that we, well, that we help these students to become self-directed learners. So not we on the board saying, you have to do this and this, but this child comes in in the morning and knows exactly, this is what I want to do today. Mm. How do we assess? We assess, our coaches will assess the student also the family we want to know the family we think that you know to to raise a child we need the village around and under it so we assess the child we assess the family and then together with the learner and the family with the parents or guardians we start to make a choice for which online study would you like to do which program do you want to follow we offer Excellus, which for my idea is more a good base for the American uh, geared students and families okay. and our girls will start with Cambry Learn which is more um, English curriculum and British um, British pathway so when they want to go back to Europe I feel that for my girls for our girls Cambry Learn is the best way to move on um, British curriculum, but maybe other parents say, we actually want our child to discover it themselves mm. with online discovery possible with us. So, so are you the main person that people will talk to around whether they've got any questions, whether it's right for their family, whether it's right for their children. Are you the main person? At this moment, yes, I'm the one who's doing the admissions, but we have a lovely coach who's also very good in marketing and she's helping me so we do it together. And I also feel that when coaches are involved with a child, they need to be there. Mm. The family needs to feel, yeah, there is a click from the child to the coach, from the child to even our our teaching assistants, yes. you know, they need to feel that, yeah, this is the right choice for our child. So actually, we call ourselves the We Learn family okay. here in Huahin. Well, uh, you know, and even just talking to you now, like I don't have children, but I've got so many questions. So how do people get in contact with you to start talking with you and start understanding what we learn is all about. So we learn has a we learn who are as a Facebook page here. You can find all the details there. So if you drop us a message there, you will definitely get a PM from us. Okay. Um, also my phone number is there, so you can reach out via WhatsApp or just give me a ring and we welcome you wholeheartedly to come and visit our amazing learning center. Well, it sounds like you're doing an amazing job, Esther. Thank you. And, it's um, all in the team. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> and you've got a big month coming up, haven't you? Ooh, 
we definitely yeah. <laughs> we are going to start on Monday we already made a program for this Monday on yes. Friday we will be on the beach yeah. to celebrate a whole new learning week in our learning center so we're excited oh, good on you well we'll put some details up on our Facebook page as well so if people need to track you down they can but Thank it's you. a pleasure as always having you on the show and uh, I look forward to chatting with you in a few weeks time to see how it's all gone I would love to come back Leanne Thank you again for the invitation. It's always great to be here oh, with you. Thank you, Esther. Thank you. Thank you.